So here is a problem when using Excel. If you've got hidden rows or columns and you copy a section that includes them and then paste it somewhere else, it includes the hidden data when you copy and paste, which is perhaps not what you want to do. Let me show you. So if I highlight this, and by the way, there's the same problem on the Mac and I'll show you how you can fix this on the Mac as well. So let's just right click and hide some rows here. So you can see these are hidden. And I'm now just going to copy this. I'm just going to highlight it, right click and choose copy. I'm going to open a new sheet, right click and paste. And it has now included all of them. So you can see I've got all these here, which includes December. But if I go back to sheet one, you'll see that there weren't any between November and January visible here. So we need to sort that out. Another time this is a problem, and I'm just switching sheets again to something called subtotals. You may have used this. I've got a video tutorial on how to use that. And you can see every time it changes from one month to another, it adds in a total for those. Now, I can collapse that down just to show me the subtotals. And again, if I highlight this, right click, choose copy, open another sheet. And if I paste it in, you're going to see that um, it's done the same thing again. So how do we get around it? Well, there isn't a command on here. And I'm going to show you how you add this command on the Mac in a moment as well. You have to customize this ribbon. And you have to add it when you customize the ribbon to a uh, one that you've created. So a custom tab across the top. So how do I do that? Well, I can go into File. And I could go into Options. And I could choose Customize Ribbon here. I can also, if I just cancel that, right click somewhere in a blank space on the ribbon and choose Customize the Ribbon here. So what I can do. It's not on my ribbon. You can see I've got this one here that says My Macros Custom. If you want to create a new group and a new tab, so if I need to do that, I just click New Tab. It automatically puts a new group in here. You can see it says Custom there. It has to go into a custom group. So it could go here, or I could put it into here. And what I want to do is just change that to Commands, not in the ribbon. I'm going to go down to something called Select Visible Cells. This is the same on the Mac as well. You just need to uh, do that by going into Toolbars. Click on Add. Click on OK. Now you'll see when I go to my new tab here. I should have named it. But have a look at the tutorial on that. and You might find that quite useful. So there's my tab. There is my Select Visible Cells. When I click on it, I can now right click and copy. Let's go to a new sheet, and this time when I right click and I paste, you'll see that there are no December ones here. That's kind of the giveaway of what I was looking for. It's only got 19 up to row 19, whereas I, if I go back to this one, you can see it's going to row 27. Let's just take a look at that with the subtotals as well. If I now use the select visible cells, and I now right click to copy it, Go to a new sheet. You don't have to put on a new sheet. I'm just doing that to make this look easier. And there you go. When you paste it in, it is now only taking what was visible. So on the Mac, you want to go into your View menu and choose Toolbars, Customize Toolbars and Menus. And then when the dialog box pops up, you want to click on Commands. And in the categories that are listed here, you want to choose Edit and scroll down until, again, you see that same one select visible cells. There it is. And what you're going to do is just click and drag it onto your toolbar. So you just drag it up, just find the space there. You can see the bar showing where it's going to go. I'm just going to pop it over here just at the end. And when you're done, you just need to then click on OK. And that's it. And then it works in the same way on the Mac as it does on the PC.